What's up guys, welcome back. It is Friday, July 22nd, and I had a bit of a fail today, actually two fails in one video. First of all, I recorded an unboxing for PD. He sent me a box today, PD Customs, and I ran out of memory. So unfortunately, um, I won't be able to do a true unboxing, but I'll show you the amazing pieces he sent me. But I'm going to start off with the fail. This one really, really hurts. I was going to show you guys that this morning I went to Walmart and I got the new uh, retros, which are the GT, the Gran Turismo series. 37 degrees in Toronto today. And I worked from the office and I left the cars in my car. The new packaging sucks. PD was telling me that, not PD, sorry, uh, KP's toys telling me that he noticed something different about the texture of the cards. And I didn't feel it initially, but now that I've, I guess they were exposed to heat, they are sticky. I cannot describe what is going on with these cards, but they are sticky. They got warped in the sun, and to make matters worse, the blisters got co totally like warped because of the heat. I'm really disappointed, but at the same time, one of these was going to be, one of the sets that I eventually found was going to be set free. This might have to be the one. So, before I set them free down the road, here's a Corvette C7.R. Kind of disappointed about that, but you know. Here's a Lamborghini Veneno. Look at that, warped as well. Card got bent up. I left them perfectly laid out in the car, but the sun and the heat just totally trashed the cards. The only one that pretty much made it is the uh, Concept 2020 Vision GT, the Nissan. No damage to this one whatsoever. Even the card has a little bend, but can be fixed. Ah, uh, but my favorite one got mangled. He's a 2009 Nissan GTR. Warped, 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 and warped. So guys, a little bit of a PSA, especially if you live in a hot city. <laughs> don't leave them near sunlight and don't leave them exposed to heat like your car in the summertime because this is going to happen. There's some new packaging from Mattel and uh, really, really not feeling this. So, anyways, got the cars, so I'm okay with that. So, on to the box from PD. PD has been working on a couple of customs for myself, for John Fernandez, and for KP's Toys. I really appreciate it, man. I know you've been. Uh, making our, or catering to our tastes and that's completely awesome if you guys haven't checked out pd customs check out his channel on youtube and on instagram he has a page too awesome work which you guys are going to see shortly he just sent um these two short cards the, the corvette greenwood and the porsche 356a outlaw really cool and short cards sent me a matchbox uh taxi this is a london taxi basically the austin a London taxi and I had this one before I had a few of these and I gave them all the way in uh, REO case so it's nice to get them back then he sent a Bautista truck from the WWE he knows I'm a wrestling fan and this is the power panel really really cool and this um, was an extra he actually put a note that I could use it as trade bait, but to be honest, I don't really trade any cars that I get in boxes. I keep them even if they're doubles. And, you know, this is a Kenworth, which is awesome to have. So, no problems there. And this was a bit of a trade from our box. Uh, he hooked it up with a 79 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am Green Machine from Joe Dirt. Thank you so much. I really hope you guys aren't getting too much uh, background noise because... I'm right next to the AC and it's blowing a lot of cold air right now. But damn, this is a nice, nice piece. And on to the customs. Oh, he also sent this, which is pretty cool. It's like a yarn uh, ornament, a yarn uh, Superman. Do you guys can see that? It's pretty cool, flying Superman. I'm going to put that somewhere where my son can see it, but not really touch it for now. <laughs> but uh, he's going to love this for sure. And now on to the customs. So the first one he sent is the Ocean Blue Integra. Very, very cool. It's painted blue. It's got the nice real riders from the wagon, uh, the Japan Historics wagon. That looks awesome. This is pretty cool. Look at this. 
even detail the back and everything. This is the Nissan uh, Z. I guess the Fair Lady Z. That looks awesome. Check that out. And this is his version of the Japan Historics. He made a series of these. And uh, man, this looks pretty epic. This is his vision to what the Japan Historics uh, would have been or should have been. Very, very cool. And last, but certainly not least, he knows I love my wagons. He sent over his Nissan version, the PD custom version of the uh, Datsun Bluebird wagon. Check that out, man. This looks flawless. This looks absolutely stunning. And again, he kept the real riders from the uh, Japan Historic wagon. So PD man, you didn't have to do all this. Definitely gonna hit you back with another box. I already have uh, one piece that I know would look great in your collection. And uh, I'll see if I can throw in some other stuff. But I'm gonna show you guys right now. Uh, PD has sent me a number of customs over the past uh, year and a half that I've known him. It's been a um, really, really, really cool guy to work with. And uh, little custom Hall of Fame um, it's all my customs I pretty much keep in um, <coughs> on displays at some point so here's the van I got from John Fernandez from the Dumb and Dumber series um, trying to remember where I have it but I know the part of my I recently redid my Batmobiles I got them in a separate display but I got the Zamac that Izzy sent me uh, is for you to enjoy. He sent me a uh, chromed out version of the 66 Batmobile. So anyways, this is my my Batman display. I got rid of a lot of loose cars that are here because they're going to go in some new display that I got. And below are the retros, the card collection. And then of course here is the loose collection of the retros. So I collect this series twice, which is why I'm not too upset about those cards being crushed because they were really going to fill out slots on the second shelf over here so I've got pretty much four cars to fill out there so that's awesome and right here is what I was going to show you guys these are the, the customs that PD has sent me there's actually a couple more upstairs uh, it was a little um, empanada related for my business I kept that upstairs um, but here's the first one of the first guidelines he sent me one of his first ones when he got into the decals as well was the the Bree Skyline. He then mastered this series, the silver version of the R34. There's the first uh, wagon he sent me last year, the Bree wagon. Very cool. Here's the Bree Skyline. This awesome 240Z Bree. And of course, the ones that he just sent today, which are going to go along this shelf right here. This is where I keep um, <clears throat> his customs. Uh, like I said, he sent me a couple of others. He sent me a combi before. That's upstairs in my son's room. He really likes that one. It was a Batmobile one. He sent me an empanada truck, which is awesome. So, PD, thank you so much for the for everything you do, man. That's, that's awesome. The fact that you catered them and made them to our style and likes, that's incredible. So, check out his channel, guys. Uh, both on YouTube and Instagram. Fantastic collector, customizer, and person. So check them out. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.